This is JG the Accidental Ojisan. Welcome back to the review of the week, guys. This time around, it's going to be Rurouni Kenshin 2023 Season 1 Finale. So, keep on watching, subscribe to this channel, and of course, hit like. Eh, ano ba nga ba? The moment every single Rurouni Kenshin fan is waiting for. Of course, our deep dive. Face! Naging tense ang pacing nung inassassinate si, Mini si Prime Minister Okubo rito. Natural! Okay? So, wow, right? It was, uh, it was already aftermath mode during at least the first, probably the first third of the episode. Okay, chill na chill na. But do I have complaints, guys? Nope. I am actually flabbergasted as to the pacing of this episode because, well, sa pacing pa lang, eh, halata ng babalik ang Roroni Kenshin. Babalik ang reboot na to. Because for one thing, sa final sequence ng lumabas si Gigi, oh, in all indications, the pacing has prepared us for a possible second, for the reboot's possible second season as of this recording. Alright? But bottom line guys, I got no complaints about the pacing of this episode. Kung, kung baga, uh, talagang pinaghandaan tayo ng mabuti ng, uh, ng Leiden films, uh, he, they, they had us mentally prepared for what's about to happen in season 2, if ever. No naman! First gearship uh, was an Okubo field Kenshin in on Shishio. No brainer right there because in all indications, okay, dito pa lang sa gearship na to, kung hindi nyo, uh, kung hindi nyo na-get sa pacing, dito pa lang sa gearship na to, sigurado na kayo, na babalik ang Roroni Kenshin 2023. Second gearship. Well, probably the most no-brainer of them all. O kung gets assassinated. Dito pa lang, magigets yun ako nung naging decision, ano magiging decision ni Kenshin. Okay? No-brainer there. Absolute no-brainer. Final gear shift was when Kenshin bade Kaoru goodbye. Eh, yun palang trigger na for season 2 eh. Okay? Trigger na for season 2 ang gear shift na to. Pero, it's not as, uh, it's not as no-brainer as the second one. Pero, right now, uh, it's, a, it's a touching moment for, uh, for, for this anime couple. Will these three gear shifts be enough for you to discern uh, how good this, how good or even bad this finale is? Nope, I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. Like I've been telling you guys since the start of the Critics Sub in 2020, wag nyo lang basta asahan ang tatlong gears na to para i-judge ang isang episode. Watch it from start to finish. Okay? Bad lies. Merong mga... No, I couldn't, I wouldn't call that backstory sequence eh. Pero, ano eh. Baga, ini-enhance lang ng mga sequences na yun, yung, yung ikinikwento ni, ni Prime Minister Okubo rito. O, on how he's feeling in, on how he's feeling Kenshin, feel, feeling Kenshin in on, uh, on Shishio's uh, current actions on, and possible whereabouts. Therefore, Sorry na. Malilis ang plot, guys! I mean, they're just mere... They're just mere explainers. Eh? I couldn't even classify them as backstory sequences, eh. Ah-ah! All right? The narrator is still the star of, the, of those sequences. So, hindi mawawala ang attention nyo. Hindi mawawala focus nyo sa ikinikwento ni Okubo dito. So, overall, really clean plot. Talagang, if the pacing and the flow did not give you an idea if this, uh, if the reboot is returning or not, the plot will. So, pace, flow, and plot all team together. Talagang, masasabi nyo na finale talaga ito. And, uh, an excellent setup for season 2. So, Rurouni Kenshin 2023, 
Season 1 finale nga ba? Pero, deserve ang episode na to. Deserve. 